do you see bleeding when you remove your retraction cord before making impressions for your crown and bridges why does it happen and how to solve this issue controlling occasional bleeding during impression making procedures of crown and bridges is crucial and in this video we will explore different methods to address this issue Assalamu alaikum I am Dr Hina a prosthodontist and the founder of Dr Teeth If you're new here welcome to our community of enthusiastic dentists and if you're already a subscriber welcome home Let's discuss the common causes of bleeding during crown and bridge impression procedures One common cause is poor periodontal health which can be improved by performing oral prophylaxis on the concerned tooth and its adjacent teeth However, it's important to note that this should be done in the first appointment allowing the tissues to heal before the impression is made. Another cause of bleeding could be the removal of retraction cord when the sulcus is dry. Dryness can cause capillaries to rupture and result in bleeding. To address this, simply use a three-way syringe to wet the cord. The third method to control bleeding is use of chemical agents. Common options include ferric sulfate and aluminum chloride. applying ferric sulfate around the sulcus helps to coagulate the blood in the area however it leaves a brown black residue that can stick to the tissues and the cord potentially causing more bleeding during removal additionally the residue can interfere with the setting of pvs and polyether impression materials on the other hand aluminum chloride is a better alternative as it doesn't leave any residue and provides prolonged retraction without much irritation however Similar precautions must be taken as it can also inhibit the setting of poly either and previous impressions if residue remains. Thank you for watching and I hope these tips help you in achieving a dry operative feel and successful impression making for crown and bridges. Now is see you in the next video.